You are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach. Hey, what's going on, man? This is Dr. Roddy Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach. And getting ready to get out of here today and get some stuff done. And I want to share something with you. First and foremost, I need to ask if you all can hear me because I have a new microphone that I'm using. If you can hear me, just let me know that you can hear me. Give me a, just hit the heart thing or the thumbs up or whatever it is. And let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me, Sean? Deborah, what's going on? If you can hear me, let me know. Please. Got this uh, new microphone. It should be a lot clearer than before. Does it sound clear, Deborah? Because it should sound very, very clear. Because the, the amount of money that you pay for it should make it sound clear. Praise the Lord. So I, I'm getting ready to to move on with my day here. I got some stuff that I got to do before I have to make some quality movements. But I want to talk to you about something that I had to had to go over with a client recently. And the client asked me, well, what should I do about X, Y, and Z? And I want to talk about it in particular. And I told her, I said, this is what you need to do. She said, well, I don't like doing that. And my reply was, well, if it doesn't change what you do, it's not going to change you. And I want to talk to you about that today. If, if, if it's not going to change what you do, then it's not going to change you. If you go to the weight room and you're always lifting the same weight over and over and over again, and you're always doing the same exercise over and over and over again, over a period of time, no matter how hard you work, you will go through the process of detraining where you actually go back to your norm, you'll, you'll regress toward the mean. You will not get any more benefits from the, from the training process because you're not changing what you do. And you have to change what you do. If you want to achieve more, then what you're gonna have to do is you might have to wake up a little bit earlier. And that doesn't even mean get less sleep. That means wake up earlier so that you go to bed earlier so that you're more disciplined in your approach. So they said, what's the same 24 hours in a day? Yeah, it's the same 24 hours in a day, but now because you've gotten to sleep earlier, you've made your rest a priority, and then because you wake up a little bit earlier, you've made what you need to do in the beginning of the day a priority, so you actually make yourself, as we say in the in the switch on movement, you make yourself the, the VIP of your life. You are important, and the things that you have to do are important, so you do those things first, and you're changing what you do, and thus is going to change you. A lot of people in the professional and personal development space speak about this particular thing of, of being comfortable. And you've heard it all the time in sports that so you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh, what I tell people is you have to actually bathe yourself in discomfort, which means the things that you don't like, you really have to do. I was having a conversation with one of my clients in, the, in my dojo, really, really, quality athlete. She was a professional um, softball player, a person by the name of uh, Dana Nichols, professional softball player internationally. And she told me that she wants to compete and she wants to fight. And I said, she asked me, do you think I'll be able to fight? I said, I don't know if you'll be able to fight or not. She said, why? I said, well, what you need on the combat sports side is different than what you need on the softball side. On the softball side, I said, you are a pitcher. You're a quality leader. You take control of the situation. I said, but in combat sports, you have to get comfortable with being hurt. You got to get comfortable with what people call abusive. And for you, that's not abusive because it's not outside the realm of use. I said, you have to work out not with the with the end goal of being in shape, but you have to work out with the goal of creeping myself and moving myself into this an environment where I feel really horrible and then sitting in that environment of, of torment to the point where it becomes your personal paradise. 
And when you can do that, then you can grab your opponent and you can take them out deep into the ocean and then tread water with them while they're looking back at the shore and you're only concerned with watching them die. And if you don't have that particular training or if you don't prepare yourself for that, then you're never going to be a good quality combat athlete. You have to be willing to lose yourself in order to win. And going back to my original premise, you have to be able to change. So if it doesn't change you, then it did not change what you do. Because in order to change you, you have to change what you do. See, what got you here won't get you there. What got you here will not get you there. And if you keep doing what got you here, not only will you not only will you, you won't even be here, you'll be removed from your here space. So remember that it is important to positively change what you do if you're interested in changing you. Man, this is Dr. Ferguson. I'm going to enjoy my tea and sip on it. I got some errands I have to run today. I want to let you know that I love you, but God loves you best. And take care. And please, 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 if you have not, if you have not, go to www.coffeewithrawd.com today and get my book, Coffee with Raw D. And if you don't choose to do that, man, get the book, The VIP Life, at www.theviplife.net. Take it easy.